All right, here we go. Digimon review. Take one. Hey guys, Jeremy here. I have a friend, Emilio, here. Hey! Emilio and I worked together a long time ago. And way back. Way, way back. And I don't even remember when this conversation started. But Probably a year ago. Yeah. I was like, I want to make a video. Or you, I think you approached me. You were like, we should make a video together. Yeah, because you had just started doing your, uh, what, what's it called? Discover An Anime. Discover Anime yeah. series. Which, by the way, you guys should definitely check out. I'm going to give links to Emilio's stuff uh, in this video in the description at the end, too. He was talking about that, and I think you even said, like, what's your favorite movie? And I was like, well, I didn't really like it. I've never been a fan too much of anime, but I guess my anime movie would be Digimon the movie. And it then counts. We, and then we just got on this really, uh, this little chat, this is nostalgic, going down memory lane. So finally, a year later, we <laughs> finally watched Found it. Our schedules matched up. The last time I saw this movie was about five years ago. And you said about two years ago? I think it was like two years ago, something like that. I remember watching this movie in theaters with my brother and my dad back in 2000. And I give my dad credit because <laughs> this movie must have been just absolutely bizarre for any adult who took their kid to this movie. Yeah. There's talking about like going to see a kid movie that literally is for kids. This this was it. This was, And this wasn't even for kids. This was only for people who knew the show. Intimately. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you if, couldn't just have watched a few episodes. You had to know. If you ha you had to know season one and two. Yeah. Like the, through and through. It's split up into three different stories. The first is basically a recreation of the nightmare sort of thing from the first episode. And then the second one, the second story, is the kind of the one that was really heavily publicized, uh, the battle for the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the third one is one that includes some of the characters from the second season and this weird Kokumon grunge bunny virus thing. And he's back. He's back to get Willis. Yeah. <laughs> Things that I have heard um, is that the transition from this movie from the original Japan release over to the American release, this movie was heavily edited. And if anything, if I had my VHS right now, I'd show you that the VHS actually has a synopsis about someone being kidnapped or captured at the, at the, on it. That never happens. And uh, I think it was you telling me that uh, had me watching this movie differently than I had before. I mean, the last time I checked it out, I was... Uh, I was just kind of like watching it completely with nostalgia goggles, which is great, like because it, it is a fun time, and they drop a bunch of '90s hits that really oh, yeah. brings Tons you back. Tons of '90s um, music, and just the most cringiest, uh, cringiest of jokes. Oh yeah, nonstop. There's a lot of jokes that are in this that like got that womp womp. Yep. The, the, the best one. <laughs> Yeah. I think the best one is the operator. The, oh, yeah. When she's she... like, well, all lines are still busy. Did you hear me? What? The lines are still busy! <laughs> That's actually a funny joke. It definitely hit, for sure. The, the animation, when it's not absolute garbage, is actually pretty good. But the thing is, it is so sporadic. And it goes from good to meh to shit. You can tell where they were saving their money and mm -hmm. which shots oh, they were doing that. Yeah, this thing definitely... So, uh, well, it was even worked on by a pretty renowned animator at the time. Yeah. I don't remember his name. I'm... Definitely a few shots in there that were fucking amazing. Like, oh. as we were watching, like... The end uh, of the internet. The internet the, climax. When yeah. Ty and them come into the internet somehow. Mm -hmm. Ty and Matt don't have outlines. Yeah, no. Which is nuts. And they changed styles a few different times in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, not at any given point, but uh, just, they, they kind of switch it up the entire way through almost, which yeah, gives it kind of an interesting feel. Especially when they're in the internet, everything has a orange outline. Yeah. Which was kind of strange. That's something you don't usually see. It's like, I admit the internet one is obviously the much more entertaining story. Yeah. I like... The Kokomon story in concept, mm -hmm. it's a goddamn mess. <laughs> because even the ending, he's like, you can tell it's been just chop edited as shit. Mm -hmm. Just the mystery with it, it's like, there's something here that's that was probably really out. Japanese. Yep. But <laughs> it'd be kind of cool, maybe, if we knew what the hell was going on. But four kids and Fox kids, they, they censored the 
shit out of this oh, movie. Oh, absolutely. And that's that's not uncommon for most anime of the time, given, like, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Dragon Ball Z got not... They would get it? They got edited heavily, especially with blood and swearing and oh, that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, which, I mean, it makes sense, because it resonated with a much younger audience yeah, in North America. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, these were all, like, heavily edited, either because of uh, different tropes from Japan that we just simply wouldn't understand in North America just culturally Are or some like maybe one or maybe a few actual concerns here and there yeah. or otherwise literally just the dumbest shit to censor yeah like, I remember the ending of the second one there's a line about I'm going to eat all your pizza and that was the <laughs> choice and Clancy Brown voiced him too Clancy Brown freaking the bad guy from Highlander oh really he was the voice of Am Vampire Mon Oh my god. But as for the movie, I I still enjoy it <laughs> in, in terms of a nostalgia ride. I would not recommend anyone watching this, though, <laughs> unless you had seen the show. Yeah, it's definitely more of a nostalgic romp back oh, in time. Yeah, and the, some people will say movies like The Goonies or what's other, like The Rat, Little Rascals are kind mm -hmm. of like, those are nostalgic trips. Like, see, those movies are competent movies. They could stand alone they for could, sure. They, yeah, they have a formula. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this movie does not. Remember Arkham Knight they did that uh, anime where it was seven different stories and one Blu-ray, like one anime DVD, seven different animators and whatnot. Oh yeah. This is almost the same kind of thing. It's, it's three different stories put together. Like They have no connection. Really. Yeah, no. Like, they I, try and shoehorn this Willis kid in here. It's, yeah, it's, it's so just, It's the only through line through all three of the stories. Yeah, yeah I, that's right. I think it was... Um, it was an interesting concept to kind of attack it like that, which... Uh, you know the editor's just like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> They're like, how is this going to flow? This isn't working yeah. off! <laughs> and, uh, and there was definitely some cool stuff animation-wise, like we said already, and like, it did have a stylistic feel through the entire it, it, thing. It was better than, the, well, the animation was an upgrade sometimes mm -hmm. from the television <laughs> show. Like, the television show was very stock. Yeah. Um, however, plot-wise, it, uh, it was a little rough. Yeah, it's really, really rough. <laughs> uh, so if you, you were to rate this out of 7, what would you give it? Ooh. Well, I'm a little torn between a 4 and a 5 on this, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not... Uh, the st it's I mean, nostalgia vibes. That, I think that's what's going on. Yeah, that, that, and, that's and a, it's, admittedly, it's a hard thing for me. Like, yeah. I so I'd have to honestly give it like a light four. A light four. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand that. Um, for me, I as if I was an actual like reviewing this on the film's basis. It, yeah. It's like a two. Yeah. It's a two. But me personally, I still enjoy this movie. Even though I shouldn't, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'd I'd give it a three right now, um, yeah. because I, I really like the the uh, the internet part. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I would even skip the beginning and I wouldn't stop after the end of the internet story. I wouldn't bother to watch the Willis part. Oh yeah, that's and. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I watch a third of the film, so <laughs> I'll give it a three. Plus, those are the characters you, like, you know, and, like, of course, everyone grew up with oh, season one. Yeah, that was a problem, so. too. Like, they were using Davis, who was a terrible character. Oh, yeah. the, the three of them. Oh, the characters after the... The first season. The Yeah, first season are just forgettable and almost indistinguishable if it was written on paper. Mm -hmm. the, like, I, I cannot like, describe those three. Yeah. Like, uh... So possibly well the one kid who had the armadillo thing like he was a possible future sociopath. Yeah, it might he be. He just had no no emotion. <laughs> he was just uh, he was I don't know token stock character yeah. number Could three. Be more anime. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. I wonder what inside of armadillo mine looks like. <laughs> Anyways, that was really fun. It was really cool to watch this again. And again, if you guys want to watch uh, some pretty fun uh, streaming stuff. Definitely check out Emilio's stuff. I'm hoping to try and get on with... We were going to try it today, but there was a bit of technical issues. But um, he just did a recent run-through with the first Lord of the Rings yes. game. It was this fucking terrible game. <laughs> but it, it's a really funny video series. You should check it out. Thanks, and man. again, check out his his, uh, his Twitch, Cinescence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, my Cinescence on Twitch and Cinescence Plays on YouTube. We do lots of gaming stuff, but we also try and 
mix it up here and there yeah, and no, do different great. stuff with it so and again hopefully i'll get to be on for two towers if when, when we can get that to work hopefully. yeah man absolutely yeah um if you guys want to check it out we did do a live stream of us watching the movie we couldn't put it in the background otherwise Amelia would get kicked off of twitch yeah so <laughs> <laughs> but the the reaction video is yeah. up on my channel yeah and it'll it'll have interspersed little clips yeah, of it he's gonna but put it together. within legal limits of uh fair use <laughs> yeah, that's a Which problem. is always fun to do on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's never fun. But, Anyways, uh, guys, thank you uh, for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, Melio, thank you for being involved yeah. for this. This was great. And hopefully Absolutely. we get to do... Wait, actually, I don't know. Hopefully. No, I don't really know any other animes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's the point of Discover Anime. I don't well, know you wanna, any of that shit. Have you ever seen uh, Batman Ninja? Batman Ninja? No, but I'm intrigued. <laughs> oh, well, maybe that's a that's a mm, no, that's a plug. No, I'm excited. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys later. All right, bye.